Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have x to the power 3x to the power 15 equals 5 and we're going to be solving for x values. We've done similar problems before. If you've seen some of my videos you'll probably remember. I think this is a really nice type of exponential equation and I even maybe talked about the general case in one of the videos. I can't remember exactly but if we didn't then we can go ahead and uh, make a video about it too. So we have this ex equation. How do you solve, right? So one thing you can do is log both sides. And the base doesn't matter that much. You can use natural log. You can base 10. Let's just say we use log. And you know the properties of logs are very similar. Uh, it doesn't really change by base. The only thing that changes is when you log both sides, you know, uh, we're going to get equivalent expressions, uh, but they're just going to look different. So now we can go ahead and move this to the front. That'll be 3x to the power 15 multiplied by log x equals log 5. Now at this point, it's kind of tempting to, you know, um, leave the x's on one side and put everything else on the other side. But this kind of gives us x to the power 15 times log x. And if we put the 3 on the other side, so weird x by the way, uh, we're just going to divide by 3. So it's, it's going to be like a fraction. Okay, So it's going to look like this. Now how do you solve a problem like this? I don't think I've used this method before, but you know this should be pretty straightforward. Well, I could probably use something called Lambert's W function, can't I? So our goal is the, is the following. We're going to try to get something that looks like t to the t and we're going to apply Lambert's w function on both sides and that should give us t. So t to the t, you, you apply Lambert's w function which is w and then you end up with t. So since we can't really extract t from this expression, uh, Lambert came up with this type of uh, function so we can basically use it to solve many exponential equations. In other words, it's the inverse function for t e to the t. Okay? So if f of t is t e to the t, then f inverse of t would be considered Lambert's w function or w of t. Okay? Great. So let's go ahead and uh, put it in a nicer form. And how do we do that? We can actually replace log with ln probably because it works nicely. ln works with base e, so I'm going to go ahead and change my mind here and turn this into an ln and this one to an ln2. And you're allowed to do it because imagine you just uh, natural log both sides uh, instead of logging both sides. That would work, right? Obviously. So this is going to work fine. By the way, if you think about it, log x over log 5 is the same thing as ln x over ln 5. And you can prove it by using change of base. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does. Let's go ahead and proceed with this. So my goal is to get t to the t. But what is my t going to be? Let me tell you. Your t is going to involve ln because x can be written as e to the power ln x. So let's do it. Replace x with e to the power ln x and then raise it to the power 15, multiply by ln x, and do a little bit of uh, algebra or, or arithmetic, whatever you want to call this. I just need to make it a raised dot to make sure it looks like multiplication symbol. And now we have e to the power 15 ln x, multiply by ln x. Oops, I don't know why that's happening. Sometimes uh, notability is going to act crazy. But if you multiply that by ln x, it's still going to be the right hand side, right? Now, here's our t almost, uh, but we, hum we have to multiply by 15. So let's go to multiply by 15 and I can do it like this. And now I got my t, which is 15 ln x. Notice that it actually fits the pattern, right? Doesn't it? So we have 15 ln x times e to the power 15 ln x. And now I can name this t and that will give me t to the t, which I can Lambert, right? And on the right hand side, I can kind of simplify this and write this as 5 ln 5, which is going to turn into something nice. Don't worry about it. Now uh, we can, you know, just simplify it later. Okay, if you apply Lambert's W function, or maybe I can simplify the right hand side as well. Um, so maybe write it as instead of 5 ln 5, I can kind of 
maybe turn it into ln5 times e to the power ln5. That was easy, right? Just turn the 5 into this. And now I have 15 ln x times e to the power 15 ln x. I'll probably just move this a little bit to the right and probably erase this as well. Let's go ahead and move this. I don't know if I'm going to move the arrow too, probably, right? Maybe something like this. And let's erase this. Now we're going to go ahead and Lambert both sides. Lambert here equals Lambert here. Awesome. And we probably don't need the arrow either. So now we have the following scenario. And if you Lambert both sides, obviously this is going to give us 15 ln x. And then the right hand side is going to give us ln 5. And then from here, ln x equals ln 5 over 15. Now, how do you solve such a problem, right? Well, you kind of need to make the ln absorb that 15. So first write it as 1 over 15 ln 5. And then this just becomes a power. You kind of need to do the opposite of what we did before. Bring it back as a power. So it's going to be 5 to the power 1 over 15 with the natural log. Now, if you do e to the power of both sides, that's going to give you e to the power ln x equals e to the power ln 5 to the power 1 over 15. And from here, you're going to get x equals ln, I mean, wait a minute, e to the power ln x. Okay, e to the power ln x is x and e to the power ln this is going to be that. So it's x is going to be 5 to the power 1 over 15. You could also write it as the 15th root of 5, which doesn't simplify anymore. That's it. Okay. Great. So that basically brings us to the end of the first method. And let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Because I think the second method is also nice, but you're going to decide which one is nicer. So for my second method, I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to some number, right? And you know what that number is going to be? Think about it. That's going to be 5. And there's a good reason behind it. If you raise both sides to the fifth power, first of all, you're going to get something nice on the right hand side. That's not that important, let me tell you. But here's how you can determine that number. Notice that we have a 3 here. And when I raise it to the power 5, it'll be multiplied by the number. 3 times 5 is 15, which gives us this number. So that's the trick. You get the idea? Cool. Now, let's go ahead and multiply. So that gives us x to the power 15, x to the power 15. You get the pattern equals 5 to the 5. And now I can actually go ahead and bring one of these 15s inside, or I mean this one. So we can kind of write it as x to the power 15 to the power x to the power 15 equals 5 to the power 5. And for a one to one correspondence, you don't really need Lambert at this point. So we get something like y to the y equals c to the c, where c is a constant. You can immediately say y is equal to c. I mean, can you always say that or is there another solution? Yes, in some cases, you're going to get multiple solutions, at least two. But in this case, that's not the case. OK, too many cases. So now we have x to the power 15. And if you uh, do the 15th root on both sides, you're going to you're going to get the exact same solution as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.